Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. We're going through the Psalms, verse by verse, all of them. And we come today to Psalm number 13, beginning in verse number one. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Having sorrow in my heart daily, how long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? It seemed as if God left town, and it sure seemed as if he was not talking to David during these hard times that he was going through. And as a result, David started to look to himself for answers. He says, how long shall I take counsel in my soul? Well, if you're looking into yourself for answers, it's already too long. He talks about taking counsel in his own soul. But God's quietness is never his silence. Even when God doesn't seem to be saying anything, he is saying something. Even when God seems to be silent, he is telling us to keep on living for him. We know that. He's already said that in the word. That's settled. We know he's saying, keep doing what is right. We know he's saying, keep trusting in me. So when you don't seem to be getting direction from God, you really are. He's told us what he wants you to do in his written word, and that never changes. Keep living for him. Keep doing what is right. Keep confessing when you fail. Keep trusting in him. Even in those times that seem to be so silent, it's an exercise of faith to, faith to continue on living for him during those times. Verse three, consider and hear me, O Lord, my God, lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him, and those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. In other words, Lord, show me something. David says, show me something. Please talk to me. David is looking for God's will. What he doesn't realize is that he is in God's will. He's praying. You can't be more in God's will than when you're praying. Don't you see what was happening here? It didn't occur to David yet, but God was using his quietness to get David to pray. God was leading David. And David was praying. He's right in the middle of God's will. Five, but I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. David started this prayer all discouraged, but because he prayed, because he was in God's will and he was doing God's will, he was praying, he has turned the corner. His praying to God has encouraged him. The exercise of praying does great things for our spirit. Six, I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Wow, David's situation has not changed one bit since he started praying back in verse one. But because he prayed, his faith has increased and his joy has returned in spite of his circumstances. See, he was in God's will. Just took him a while to wake up to it. Trust you're in God's will. Just keep living for him. Keep praying. You're in God's will. If you want to study the word of God with me further, you can at the Bible verse by verse dot com. Study the whole council verse by verse using my audio Bible messages. And if you want to be a part of this ministry, then pray for me. Pray for God's word. Also click the donate button at the top of the front page at the Bible verse by verse dot com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.